team you wanted to work with? Uh, well, initially, I think my, my big reason was coming for the soccer program. I really admired the, the blue-collar work ethic of the SUNY Oneonta women's soccer team. Um, and so that was really the, the initial thing that pushed me to come here. But then I found so many reasons after coming that they made me stay. Okay, so you decided to major in Spanish and Greek and international uh, studies. International, what is it? Development called? studies, Inter yeah. International development studies. Um, so what is it about choosing those two majors? Like how did you sort of come to deciding on those two? Uh, so I knew I really wanted to do Spanish when I came into school. And then through taking different courses and taking a faculty-led trip uh, to Bolivia, um, in conjunction with Save the Children Bolivia. That's where I really found my, my interest in international development studies. So I decided to pair those together and they complement each other very well. Awesome. Um, so what, did you always have sort of a, um, sort of a love for international related stuff from when you were younger or is that something where you came into, came into Oneana and just started to experience? Yeah, well definitely definitely travel is something I've always loved to do. My dad works for American Airlines um, as an airplane mechanic, so we would have flight benefits and be able to travel different places. Um, so I had had the opportunity to travel a bit, but it wasn't until I came here um, until I really had the experience of kind of broadening my horizons with the Spanish language um, being the main focus of that, so. Awesome, oh, super jealous. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's awesome. Yeah, uh, well definitely the most inspirational um, semester I've had of my life here at, at Oneonta has been this past semester where I've had the opportunity to work with um, a Spanish professor, um, Alejandro Escudero, and we've been doing some research together. Um, so I've been studying the push factors that bring Latino immigrants to come to the United States. Uh, and I did some research uh, two weeks ago during spring break in Tucson, Arizona uh, regarding that. So that's, that's been something that has really um, kind of been the height of my of my academic career here and has really pushed me to want to help undocumented immigrants and support them and give them as much voice as I can um, in the upcoming years in my future career, so. Awesome. Um, so what would you say in kind of, I'm just gonna jump in yeah. a little bit here, but um, in terms of your relationship with faculty, you know, what has that sort of been like in mm -hmm. terms of um, having that sort of uh, working relationship with, with faculty and in both your departments? Yeah, so both of my majors are relatively small compared to other majors on campus, so all of my classes have been uh, smaller size, so you really get to know your classmates, and you really get to bond with your professors, make good relationships with them, and it's definitely through those special relationships that I have with them that I've been able to find opportunities like doing research or traveling abroad, um, you know, and I have, I have great recommendations that'll come from that because, because they do know me so much as a, as a student, as a person, as an athlete. I would remember playing soccer. I would remember the game-winning goals. I would remember the, the toughest moments, fighting to win the toughest games. Um, that, would, that would always stick out to me. I will remember the research opportunities I had here. I will remember working with the Luminous Letter Project on campus, where we write letters of friendship and support to undocumented immigrants um, in immigration detention centers in Arizona. Um, I remember all the great friends I made through, through soccer, through class, through working as a residence hall advisor. Um, there, there are a million moments that will stand out to me in 10 years from Oneonta. Yeah, um, so I think lots of people graduate and they have a degree and that's great, um, but you really need to have something with experience. You graduate and everyone wants to know how much experience you have. Um, and with both of my majors that are so relatively small um, and not very popular in a place like upstate New York, I was able to find so much hands-on opportunity um, to really integrate myself um, into development studies and work with undocumented populations in the U.S. Um, and that direct relationship, that direct experience, the direct knowledge I have about those things is something that I can testify to um, that'll just push me that much further when, I, when it comes to the working world and applying to jobs. I 100% feel that Oneonta has prepared me for life after graduation. Um, from the soccer team, I just kind of fortified my, my sense of work ethic. Um, and then from, 
from Spanish, International Development Studies, those professors I've met, they've really pushed me to be the best student I can be, seek out opportunities that I would have never thought to have before. Um, and they really pushed me to do what's hard because that's what's worth it in the end. Uh, what um, advice would you give them to kind of have the sort of great experience you've had here? Yeah. Um, I would say that no matter how small your major or your area of interest, there's always opportunity out there, but it's not something obviously that's just given, you have to look for it. Um, and if, if you're working hard, people will notice um, and you, you will be rewarded for, for those merits that you have. Um, so as long as you, as you work hard and you apply yourself and you seek out opportunities actively, you will find better opportunities than other students.